foundation of the universe is subject to constant change, leading to many intriguing developments in the past. Consider the perspective of our distant ancestors, who were firmly convinced that Earth was the center of the universe around which all other heavenly bodies revolved. While it's easy to see how they were mistaken, the possibility of being wrong remains even today. Of course, we now know that our natural home is just a small mosaic piece in a giant, overarching picture that we have yet to unravel fully. But it seems that every new discovery must first overcome several internal hurdles. Need an example? Although Edwin Hubble recognized that virtually all observed galaxies were moving away from us, Albert Einstein clung to his image of a rigid, perpetual universe. He even added the cosmological constant to his field equations. Looking back, we can say that Einstein later corrected his mistake, calling it the greatest blunder of his life. The galaxy movements identified by Hubble were tied to the constant expansion of the universe. According to current data, this expansion didn't just begin yesterday, but around 13.8 billion years ago, with the Big Bang. Contrary to initial assumptions, this process doesn't describe a massive explosion into existing space, but rather the rapid expansion of space itself. From an original singularity, matter and time also emerged from this small, hot starting point. But how can we even know this today? By looking backward at the corresponding evolution. Thus, it's possible to calculate back to a point where the density of matter and energy becomes infinite and all spatial distances reduce to zero. Another significant confirmation of the Big Bang Theory is the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation. This remnant from the time shortly after the creation of the universe is almost isotropic and fills the entire universe. So far, so accepted. But what about discoveries that can't be reconciled with the Big Bang Theory and the findings based on it? The cosmological consensus is that the first stars formed 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang and that the first galaxies were still small, galactic dwarfs. This seems logical because there wasn't enough normal matter at the time to form full-blown galactic giants, at least in theory. However, the universe doesn't seem particularly interested in adhering to our hypothetical models. Last year, the James Webb Telescope detected something that, strictly speaking, shouldn't even exist, impossible galaxies. Astrophysicist Evo Lab and his team at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne analyzed several images from the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, of the James Webb Telescope. These images showed a section of the sky near the Big Dipper, a region typically associated with the beginning of the universe. It didn't take long for Lab and his colleagues to realize they had just discovered something extraordinary. He described his initial reaction to the historic discovery as follows. I run the analysis software, and it spits out two numbers, distance, 13.1 billion years, and mass, 100 billion stars. I almost spit out my coffee. I knew we had just discovered the impossible, impossibly early, impossibly massive galaxies. To explain the presence of these galaxies, either the density of matter in the young universe must have been two to ten times greater than our models suggest, or the galaxies must have formed in a completely unknown way. Either scenario requires a significant shift in our understanding of the universe. So far, scientists have failed to provide a clear explanation for this sudden discovery. The only certainty is that 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, there were already six galaxies with masses of 10 billion, and in one case, even 100 billion solar masses of stars. These galaxies were similar to our Milky Way today. Given this, it's not surprising that these objects are referred to as universe breakers by the research group. The discovery calls into question what was previously considered scientifically certain. The mass of stars in this stage of the universe is up to 10 times greater than the old models suggest. Until now, cosmology has assumed that galaxies start as small clouds of stars and dust and gradually grow larger. But is it impossible that this isn't the only way stellar associations are formed? This discovery expands the mystery for experts. Moreover, the James Webb Telescope recently found another record holder and added yet another puzzle to the star charts. Identified by researchers at the Scuola Norma Superior in Pisa, Jade's GS Z13-0 is the oldest known galaxy. Formed 290 million years after the birth of the universe, this galaxy challenges our understanding. 
It's clear that our knowledge of the universe is evolving with every discovery. The James Webb Telescope continues to shine a light on the early universe, uncovering truths that will reshape our understanding of cosmology for generations to come.